How's it going guys? Jordan Trask here, it's the middle of the week. I hope yours is cruising by. But I am on day eight of the 25 days of Christmas. And today I drew Aaron's service. This is something that I wasn't even really sure existed. I, I knew that some people probably did this uh, you know, on the side to earn some extra income, especially with the times that we're in now and everybody's getting comfortable with getting deliveries and uh, services are popping up all over the place. For convenience and make sure people don't have to go into stores and stuff right so um this one kind of threw me for a loop uh but when it comes to holiday strategy uh, for something like this you know we want to make sure that uh we're cognizant of the business itself we're not overspending and um i can't imagine that this this uh would be one of those businesses that uh you know all of a sudden you have this gold mine client that um or a gold mine day uh that just blows you out of the water i think Typically, the, the income or the return or the revenue is rather small per client. So finding a way to scale it, uh, finding a way to uh, sustain the current customers you have, maybe expedite the service, maybe make the process a little bit better would be all the things that I would probably be uh, more interested in focusing on initially than running a campaign. But we're going to assume that the company is established, that they've been doing errands for people now uh, for a couple years, if that's a thing. Uh, and... Their customer base is strong and they're going to do a commercial during the holidays and why not so um you know there's probably tons of stuff people need done when you when you really think about it. it's tons of stuff that i need done when i really think about it that i could use the air and service but uh, i'm kind of stingy i guess <laughs> but uh, for the target uh, audience for this i don't want to spend too much time on this one because i went 22 minutes yesterday and 17 the day before so try to just keep it really simple and, and uh, really direct on you know something I think would work really well and not spend a lot of money because the returns not as high uh, and you know it's just I don't think it's really wouldn't be that wise uh, to to try to build an awareness campaign for something like this because either people either people uh, are looking for uh, errands to be done for them or they have somebody that's doing it already right or family or friends uh, or they don't you know you know me I, I can come like today just have this epiphany or realization sorry that there's errand services, but it's not going to really change my desire to have it. People that are already doing that are already doing that. So you don't want to try to persuade people to getting errands done. Uh, I, I mean, I guess you could put that stuff on your website. But as far as an advertising campaign and stuff, we don't want to be salesy. Um, we want to try to uh, maybe just build awareness on the uh, legitimacy, um, not competence, but maybe the genuine nature or the passion behind the business itself. And... Um, That'll build the awareness. You know, you get people talking or sharing stuff, even if they don't care. Uh, you know, I get an MBA ad. You know, I don't care, right? Um, but I'm, I'm probably not going to share it when it comes to something like this. Uh, that's um, something I don't care about. That's something that maybe I would never buy into, right? I could still share it if a, a message from that company. I, I, come, I come across a message or an ad or some sort of promotion from that company that I could really get behind, then I'll still share it. So um, this, when it comes to errands, you know, I'm thinking, uh, you know, who who initially probably wants service? I'm thinking senior communities, right? Or older older people, maybe not senior communities, maybe retirement communities. People are still cognizant and out and about and active and stuff, or assisted living, um, if, that, if that's the right thing. Um, where you know they just need to get stuff done or maybe they have people uh, family in town or maybe it's too cold or maybe you know they're not feeling well you know they're a little bit more brittle or uh, uh, under the weather uh, and and they still have to be on schedule and all that type of stuff uh, i think another thing would be business initially business um, you know a lot of businesses they they deal with logistics and delivery and stuff like that especially now um, with uh, companies are doing a lot more delivery and stuff probably finding the best way to cut costs there and, and be efficient there uh, finding the errand service if that is even something that you would do um, depending on the extent of it you know what are we moving are we moving couches and heavy equipment or are we just moving food right are we just picking things up are we just dropping things off are we just making payments stuff like that like what's the extent of the service these are all things that we really got to figure out before we could really come up with a legit campaign because it's kind of broad so I think for me, I would want to focus more on a charitable approach. Uh, you know, let's uh, focus on a service that, or in, in addition to the service that can add value and then a charitable charitable contribution, right? This is typically a good way to go, especially during the holidays. And not in a cheesy way to get attention, right? It's something that you're serious about, that you care about. 
um, that you can kind of align with and that it's relevant to your business. So uh, people that are running errands, I think when you think of like special needs and stuff or maybe uh, underprivileged kids or stuff like that, people that go through mental health or trauma and stuff, uh, you know, you want to help them, them and support them. At least that's me. I think underprivileged kids is something that I'm really passionate about personally, but I don't think it really ties into the business and I don't think those are... Um, uh, necessarily the type of kids that you want to be front and center for a campaign doing something. Um, those are the kids you want to do may help behind the scenes, uh, you know, have personal relationships with that you don't have to maybe put on the forefront. That's maybe more of a personal thing that you can kind of, uh, you know, feel good about if that's what you want to do. But uh, I don't think it's something that you want to push those types of children's stories uh, or those types of people that go through those types of things. Um, handicap or special needs can get a little bit, um, High maintenance, and I'm not saying that in, in a disrespectful way, but I think, you know, just really sitting here thinking about, like, you know, you focus on kids with Down syndrome or, uh, you know, maybe autism or something that um, are still functional. They're still reliable, in my opinion, the experiences I've had with those types of people. My, my brother has a form of uh, Asperger's, I think, and um, with comprehension and stuff, but he's still uh, capable, intelligent, uh, functional, reliable, all those things. And maybe we could create uh, some sort of gift wrapping uh, service, not service even, but um, bonus or addition or uh, reward, right? So, I mean, we you could do a campaign in so many different ways, so I'm not going to try to get into too much, too much detail on here, uh, but you, you know where I'm going with it here. You know, you can offer the service of free gift wrap. You know, all the stuff that you're maybe delivering doesn't need to be gift wrap, but if there's some things that you want gift wrap or some things, um, some added elements that you could add to the delivery service or errand running service itself um, that, you know, maybe 50 deliveries have, uh, we drop off some flowers to, uh, you know, your mom or your wife or your uh, drop off something to your husband or your kids at school or something. I don't know. I mean, I think you can incentivize people to use your service and then reward them with a charitable contribution that in most cases you're not paying for, you're not paying for an employee to gift wrap something, you're working with a local uh, center or uh, after school program that has uh, kids that are willing and volunteers even to, to help. Uh, and so that would be an easy way to um, not just say, hey, I'm a good person or this and that, but to be involved with those people, give them an opportunity during the holidays, uh, show them some love, right? Work with them personally as the business owner, as the errand runner and, um, you know, generate those relationships, maybe offer one of them a job, right? You know, some of these things, these little things that, that you could do back office stuff um, that builds the recognition of your business. You care, you wanna help your customers, you're offering an added service, you're not selling anything, you're not cramming anything down your their throat, and you're still offering the value that you provided with an added element that can be, uh, um, you know, appreciated during the holiday season, right? So uh, that's just like really a simple way uh, to go about doing things. Um, when it comes to, uh, you know, just marketing during the holidays, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to do a commercial. Obviously, you could do a lot of things to to break down the process and the value uh, or the advantages of doing errands, and you could publish that stuff. But that's more social media posts, blog posts, stuff that's evergreen um, that people can share that you could break down and s sprinkle here and there uh, as random posts that have weight, um, like I said before. Um, but when it comes to a campaign, we really want to think stuff through. Uh, how are we going about delivering this stuff? Uh, what type of customers, um, you know, would appreciate this type of stuff? What type of uh, deliveries or, or errands uh, are relevant? And then, um, you know, how, how are you promoting it? And I think the easiest way to promote it for me would just be you should have a good CRM or something like this, an order service, whether you have an app, you should have people's numbers and addresses so you can either drop stuff off, send emails, uh, you know, send probably a text message. If you have an app, you could send push notifications through the app, uh, all kinds of different ways to build the awareness to let people know, hey, you're already using me, but if you wanted something like this or you have something like this, we're offering this, and here's the terms or the disclosure. It's a two-day turnaround. Um, tell your friends, right? If you never had anybody... Uh, have an errand uh, done run before uh, here's a discount or something I, I hate to run discounts but the referral maybe do it as a referral so don't give them a discount but give uh, make it a rewards program so the more people that they refer in or sign up or whatever based on their 
username, ID, or customer number, whatever, um, they get a reward or a discount or added something. And that's how you start to build stuff because, again, you don't <laughs> you can't just be giving a bunch of free money away because you're not making a couple hundred dollars a pop, a, a couple hundred dollars in acquisition. You're maybe making you know, ten, twelve dollars and with gas prices so high you can't just be driving around town all the time hoping that uh, people latch on, right? That they use you consistently. You gotta prove it, but you can't uh, you know, give away the barn, right? You gotta be smart. You gotta find ways to to spread awareness, to build advocacy, right? To to create advocates by through your customers, reward them and then appreciate them. And then do something that's genuine so that when your ad or your marketing effort or your campaign comes across somebody, they're not like, you know, or that's cheesy or that's shady or I don't believe these people, you know, make it real, make it an authentic video. Don't spend a lot of money and be purposeful with everything you do. It's Jordan Trask here. That's a great way to end. And I guess my connection is going out anyway, so I'll talk to you soon.